hello everyone welcome to my channel today i am going to make project of all list store analysis in power bi so first let me open power bi desktop after open this one we need to connect with data set so in some specific folder i have uh, pasted my data so i will fetch data from there first of all we should check whether our, our data is in uh, same format as uh, column header is or not so i will uh, go to transform data <coughs> so now everything look good everything in uh, same data type so now we will we should check null value or is there any error in our column so in first uh, customer id we don't have any null value or error so we should check all column if there is any error or uh, null value then we should deselect that and uh, it will not come in our uh, row and we should remove if there is any null or uh, error value so in this uh, we don't have any error or null value so we should select all these column and uh, we should first check for a uh, remove duplicate if there is any duplicate value in uh, all the column all the five column then it will be removed so first we should do this then this process done now this file will load in this uh, right mode right most side now we have a uh, nine file so we should uh, connect with all data set we need to do same type of operation with every data set every time we need to check and at last we should do remove duplicate value so same process we have to do till upload our all the file and all the table in this uh, live uh, rightmost uh, side of uh, power bi desktop let me do same process fast so we can save some time because this process some sometime taking more time
here one uh, null value is coming so we should uh, deselect this one and uh, then okay then null value will not up upload with uh, this date table guys we should check every time whether our data is in correct form or not sometime uh, we have data like uh, sometime we have data like this one where uh, our header is not available and here showing uh, column 1 and column 2 so for this problem we should use this option use first row as header you can see this is available in uh, home tab in the middle part of uh, desktop but now still we have uh, some other uh, things in uh, header so now again we should do this process now our header came product category name now everything's look good now we should uh, load this data sometime we have uh, in some uh, column like uh, here only city is city name is available city name column is available so here only uh, alphabetical value should come but here numeric value is coming so we should deselect this one I have uploaded uh, loaded all the data and uh, complete ETL process. Now we need to see which type of operation we need to perform. So here we have our uh, file where uh, our question is giving like uh, first KPI we need to calculate according to weekday and weekend but in uh, this file we don't have any uh, column like uh, weekend or weekday so we need to uh, make a separate column to calculate weekend or weekday payment status so we should check in which call uh, table we have date uh, column like here we have order purchase timestamp so from here we can uh, make some separate column and uh, can use uh, conditional formatting to do uh, 
week or weekend so first of all we should uh, go to add column and uh, we should uh, select for day and day of week first we will select then it is coming like uh, yep. 1 to 6 and 0 so this is day of a uh, week now we should do conditional uh, make some uh, conditional column so here we will select a column name david equal to here we have value come like uh, 0 to 6 so 7 value came now we should do conditional formatting like conditional column we should make we will select a day of week value is equal to 0 then it should come uh, like weekend another time because we have a uh, two day in weekend we have two day like uh, saturday or sunday mm -hmm. so it is coming from uh, sunday so zero is for sunday if there is a uh, zero then it should be weekend and six for saturday so if in row we have uh, six then also it should uh, so like uh, weekend else we have uh, weekdays then okay one separate column will uh, appear like this one weekend we can see zero is uh, showing for weekend and six is also showing for weekend other all value is coming for a uh, weekdays only so now we can uh, load this data it will take some time to load data then we will check whether this data is uploaded or not so now we should change this uh, column name weekend slash weekdays okay and load it is available in order data sheet so now it is uploading and now here one value is showing like weekend slash weekend now all the data uploaded so now we need to make relationship and this relationship making option is available here in left most uh, one option is like report view second is data view and third one is model view so we should select model view here it will show automatically if uh, there is any relationship between data set but we should check whether all the table is connected with each other or not we can see one table is not connected with other table so we need to connect this data so here in product database one uh, column is uh, like same like product category name or here also product category name so we can make uh, data relationship between these here one this data is also connected here we can see every data is connected with each other directly or indirectly
so now we should check cross filter direction should be both if it is uh, not available uh, connected bidirectionally then we should do change it is a uh, cross filter direction is only one single direction so i will do for all we should check every relationship and uh, do both cross filter direction with every data set So now every table is connected bidirectionally. Now we can make our KPIs. Like first uh, KPI, we have to make a weekday versus weekend. Order purchase timestamp, payment statistic. So we need to show weekend versus week weekdays payment status so in order data set we have weekday or weekend and in payment uh, data set we have payment value now we should make kpi for weekday or weekend so from uh, order data set uh, i'm gonna select weekend and weekdays and uh, from payment data set i'm taking payment value now we need a uh, one pie chart so here this value is showing but why this uh, blank value is coming so we should check go to transform data set and from uh, order data set we have column like uh, weekend and weekdays so here we should check we must have any empty value or blank value so we will we should try for remove empty value now here actually two row is coming like null or blank value both so this is uh, deselected now we should uh, load this data and we should wait for some time it will upload and uh, from here it should remove blank value we can do one thing like uh, we can take this weekend and weekday in uh, filter actually here already this value is available so we can select 
and deselect this uh, blank value. Now this uh, chart is swing perfectly. So now we can do some formatting things. can align this uh, visual header we can change from here text color From here, we can change color part of this weekday and weekend. We can change this uh, percentage and uh, direct value color from here. It is swinging very small size, so we can increase size from here and we can bold this later. So first visual we have done, so now I'm going to make uh, some other KPIs. So here we need to make the KPI like number of order with review the score of 5 and payment type as a credit card. Now I am going to make a second KPI. First of all, I will take a order ID from order data set. Here we need to take a payment type which should be credit card. and one another review score for order id we need a count so i will change this one in count and i will take a column chart for this other order id i have taken for count payment type is uh, this one and review a score so for this review a score also i will take uh, this one as uh, actually from review a score we need only value like it should be 5 so this value is equal to 5 and apply filter
actually here we need to change this to legend remove this uh, y axis sum of review score to legend now we can uh, select from here advanced filter and one option is available basic filtering so we will select this one and we need for only five fifth review so we can select this one now this uh, value is showing for fifth review score which is get by all the credit card boleto voucher debit card and not defined so actually we can select from here only credit card option also but it's not look good so we will compare with two or more than two value so now it uh, looks little bit good color formatting part is sometime taking more time so we should do this uh, formatting part at last so it will be convenience for all because uh, while we are formatting we can format all the visual at the same time and it will uh, show here all the option now in the third kpi we need to calculate average number of days taken for order order delivery customer date for pet shop but uh, we don't have any column like uh, for uh, delivery date so now we need to make a separate column for this and order in order data set table we have column like uh, order purchase time stamp and delivery so we will uh, subtract this uh, delivery customer date with uh, order purchase time stamp for this one we need to add a column like we can add a custom column we can give uh, this one uh, name like shipping days so this value will be like uh, order delivery date minus purchase day and here also it is showing like no syntax syntax error so now okay so now this option appear but this value is showing in uh, point so we need to convert this we need to change this time in the days now this value converted into days everything looks good now we need to go load this data and we can make a third kpi average day taken for delivery pet shop so now one way column will be appear here in order data set like it is showing shipping days 
so here we need select product category name now i will take a column chart for this for shipping days now we are going to solve third kpi average number of date taken for fed shop so we need average number of days for shipping for we are taking shipping days and fed shop available in product category so we, we will select this one so we need uh, average shipping days so we will take average shipping days and from here we will do filter shop is not looks good so we can select some other value also like we can select uh, for dvd for audio also we can select now it looks good Now we will do some formatting for data level. It is not showing, so it will uh, now it's so. Now other formatting part we can do later. So now we will go for fourth question. Fourth question is average price and payment value for customer of Sao Paulo city. Average payment and other is the price. So we will select price, and on the other hand, we need a city. For city, we need. We need to select Sao Paulo City. So I will select this. Now we need not sum, but average payment value and average price value. now it uh, looks good now we will jump on fifth question
relationship between shipping rates versus review score okay so we need uh, shipping rate is available in order data set and review score in review data set it is available review score automatic it will show sum of but we will take average and average of review score also now we will on data level now it uh, looks good now we have solved all the kpis but still we can make some other kpi also like uh, we can make a kpi for uh, total order we can do like a uh, count distinct value so now it is showing customer unique id as this much customer order this much is actual uh, customer number without duplicate now we can do some other things also we can check how much seller we have so for this one also we can do count and we will take a slicer card for this one so it, it is showing in the card format now we can take some other things also like we can take for order data set payment for payment we can take like how much we have sold so this is showing total over of sales data we will uh, convert this one also in card format we can do for uh, some other things also we can do one uh, calculate part like uh, we can find total overall profit so for this we can use this one also option is available like uh, in insert option q a option is available so we can use this one like total payment value minus total price so when we are subtracting a total payment value and total price so it means final uh, payment is the uh, total payment value and actual price was 
by after adding uh, total price it is showing like this one so we are getting output like uh, 3.25 million profit uh, we can change this name so we can put name like uh, total total profit now it looks good for this one also we can change total unique customer for this card we can also change name like uh, total seller and for this one we can use total sales now all things look good now good to go now we can do formatting part we can make some uh, visual for uh, year wise sales so for this one we will do this use this date hierarchy and here we will use a clustered column chart now we will take a payment value for total sales now this is showing like this one we can select for month wise sales some blank value is showing so we can uh, select from here and remove this uh, blank value first we will select all then we will remove this blank now this blank value will not show here now we can uh, use this payment value in line x line y axis we can select from here now it is showing like this one but it not looks good so we can remove this one and again we will make i will take this year and this payment value in uh, don't know why this cluster uh, column is not working again we will try first we will select for year and month now we will select payment value and for actual price we can select this price we can take in uh, y axis now oh, looks good
line graph is showing for uh, this uh, actual price and bar graph is showing for uh, sum of payment now little bit looks good okay but this one looks some messy data many data are showing at once we can unselect any one data like we can select for only payment now the data is showing only for uh, total payment or we can select for this line chart also so data level for line chart now it is showing now i am going to make uh, so first we will take we will do for a header so for header i'm going to make like this one and other part we can hide for this time we have five visual and one here six visual total and uh, four slice uh, kpi card not kpi actually card so can use uh, copy paste option here to do formatting first now to insert the title we need to make uh, one uh, separate column we can use a uh, quick measure so this we will put name like uh, title concentrate now text will be like uh, all list is to analysis by we will make this uh, 
column in the customer data set table now it looks good here we can see we don't have any title or column but after entering it will appear now we do have one column like title now we will select one uh, card visual here we can select title and here Uh, we can rename this uh, guys earlier i was did uh, one mistake that's why that value was showing like now i have changed uh, this uh, dex formula now it will show perfectly now we can uh, change text color and the for size it looks okay we need to hide this uh, category level so title will not so looks good now we can put uh, kpi here Oh. Copy and paste it here. We need to reduce size. looks okay but uh, we need to reduce x size also because it looks very big so later we will change first we will copy all the data now we can start formatting part can change the uh, title from here now we can change uh, this background also from here for title so better we should select some lighter color oh, this looks good change background of this visual also from here we can select uh, from here
change the background color from uh, more color. A better we should select some lighter color in no, all this one you can change this uh, numeric value showing here we should change size for this now it looks better we can change color part from here we can remove this uh, decimal value now looks good and, uh, remove this uh, legend it was taking so much space either we can uh, use also we can put in uh, bottom center for title we can hide and uh, text color we can change from here like we can put some uh, blue color now it looks okay <clears throat> now we need to do same thing with uh, every visual for this we can take any shortcut like in home option one option is showing like a format painter so we will uh, click on uh, already formatted visual and uh, click on format paint and now now we need to drop here all the formatting everything will be same for other visual also So now within minute we have done this now we need to show we need to change this uh, title order id we should on this data level for every visual first of visual looks like same so we can change visual we can take visual like a donut chart or we can select a funnel but it not looks good yeah this one looks good for this we can select a donut chart yes for don donut chart it is looking good or uh, we can take some uh, visual from online also
So from here, we can use
to our dashboard completed so i'm gonna check this uh, slicer whether it is working with all the visual or not all the value are changing so this slicer is working perfectly we can check quarter wise also look in quarter and look at you have done then only we can add uh, some more slides over according to our requirement. This dashboard looks good. Okay, thank you for watching my video.